I am a regular black girl. And that is fine. First things first, this video is going to be long. I feel like I need to give y'all that disclaimer sometimes, even though you can clearly see how long it is, like before you click on a video. A couple of other disclaimers before we get started because y'all couldn't already tell by the title. In no way, shape, or form am I trying to be problematic or ruffle any feathers. Well, maybe ruffle some feathers just a little bit. I genuinely want to talk about this topic, which is why I'm making the video about it. But I'm not trying to come for anyone. If anybody needs to be came for, it needs to be my fro because she's just not doing what she needs to do. I don't know how I'm gonna title this yet, but I'm thinking it's gonna be something like I'm a regular black girl or something like that. I'm a regular black girl and it's okay because I am a regular black girl and it is in fact okay. But before we get into like the the meat and potatoes of this, I want to talk about why I'm bringing this up. And it is because in the past, I would say year or so, there has been an influx of black girl luxury content. If you're not on TikTok, the black girl luxury content, it is, thinking of a word, it's extremely popular right now. And not just right now, but it has been within the last one to two years. Not saying that black women in luxury is new but you know now that social media is popping and we have all these apps and stuff is really a thing now like it's its own niche i should say i feel like black women haven't had like the representation when it comes to some of the items or activities that are deemed as luxury but now that we have put a name black woman in luxury or black girl luxury it is very much so popular on social media right now. I'm gonna speak about TikTok just because I be on TikTok very, very heavy, extremely heavy. I be on TikTok low key more than I be on YouTube. But that's not what this is about. I'm gonna speak about TikTok just because the idea for this video sparked from TikTok. But some of the things that I say about TikTok, it can be applied to the other apps, Instagram, Twitter, um, YouTube, etc. Got me, got me, okay. If you're not familiar with TikTok, you can use different audio. You can take someone's audio and you can turn it into a whole different scenario and you know, just make it you. You can apply it to your niche. You can apply it to whatever, whatever type of situation or personal experience that you're going through. You can use someone's audio on TikTok and make it into whatever it is that you want it to be. There's a lot of sounds on TikTok that go viral. There is a creator on TikTok. She made a TikTok video um, about some, I honestly can't even remember and it's not even about that. But what the audio was saying was, I'm not mad, I just said it was lame. That was the, the part that kind of went viral. I'm giving you guys the background information, okay? I know it sounds like I'm rambling, but I'm giving you guys the background information. So another creator took that audio and she made her own TikTok video and this is what she said. Let me pull it up for reference because I did stitch the video and unfortunately the video itself has since been removed. I think the creator may have removed it, but uh, I can still tell you what it said. What I am gonna do is just put the screenshot of what she said. Now keep in mind, the audio in the background was saying, I just said it was lame, I'm not mad. So this girl, she made her own video with that audio in the background. She put text on the video and said, when rich black girl TikTok started trending, so y'all popped out with regular black girl TikTok. That's the caption that she put over her video and then of course in the background she has the, I just said it was lame, I'm not mad. Basically she's saying that she thinks the regular black girl content or whatever is lame. Now, let's pause here and this is where my rant is going to begin. The thing on TikTok right now is these really popular day in the life vlogs they're like mini vlogs basically that are very aesthetically pleasing when things look good on tiktok they will go viral off the simple fact that it looks very well put together something that happens as a result of the luxury black girl black woman in luxury content 
was the fact that the regular black girl content slash just just regular content i really i'm gonna speak on the word regular a little bit later on in this video but once the luxury content started to know you know pop off on tiktok or whatever then i started to see more you know regular and it's actually a hashtag on tiktok if you go on tiktok and you search the hashtag regular black girl it is actually a thing and i do think it was kind of a response to the luxury black girl black woman in luxury content i kind of started to see more women who would get on tiktok and say things like where are the regular girls we have like regular apartments you know you don't drive this type of car um you have a regular job like where's the regular women at like where you know everything i see on my for you page is luxury this luxury that where's the regular women when all you see on your for you page is lux 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 it's like am i the only one that's not living this luxurious lifestyle like that's what it seems like so i will say that i do feel like the regular black girl content trend niche whatever i do kind of feel like it was in response to the luxury black women movement but it wasn't in a way to take away from what they were doing at least in my opinion it was more so of a hey everybody is not in a position that these women in luxury are in i actually do appreciate to see just regular women just doing regular things i'm sorry like it sounds bad because i keep saying regular and i told you i'm gonna talk about that word in a minute but i like to see that um hey this is editing lex i'm editing this video right now it is tuesday the 22nd this video is going up wednesday the 23rd um so i i like to do this here because i like to add a little commentary and stuff because sometimes i forget things but i wanted to add that i do watch luxury black girl or rich black girl content um i think that the content that i'm interested in is actually kind of diverse because i don't just watch one thing i watch a lot of different things and in this video some of the things that i was saying sounded a little bit harsh and i really didn't mean to come across that harsh as if i'm like putting down luxury black girl content or rich black girl content and i'm really not because i watch it i'm just saying that i also like to watch regular black girl content too that's it there were a lot of people on tiktok who felt like you know regular black girl content um why is this a thing i can't really speak for anybody else i can only speak for myself but i have really just been down in the dumps lately when it comes to my life basically this isn't the fault of any of the women who create this content but seeing it constantly and seeing these women do all these things that i'm not in a position to do like it kind of just made me feel like dang my life is shitty girls started using the regular black girl hashtag and just saying you know well y'all i i can't do this and i only drive this and i only work here but you know i still want to post content too that made me feel kind of good and i know we should not look to social media for a validation and we also shouldn't look to others for validation but when you're someone like me who was always on social media constantly and being on social media is kind of like my job i know that because i'm not a big influencer y'all probably don't feel like this is my job but baby youtube is my job it's my second job but it's my job so me being on social media is a part of my job and when i'm seeing all these things repeatedly back to back and it just looks like everybody just has their life together when regular black girls started to you know pop off a little bit i'm like oh, okay these are my women these are these are my girls like i said no shade to the black women in luxury because i I would love to be there someday. Check back with me in like three, two years, three, anyways. So yes, I was very appreciative of the regular black girl hashtag because I consider myself a regular black girl. Now, I need to talk about the word regular and not just regular, but a uh, simple, basic. These words, words like regular and simple, oh, normal. I feel like we've kind of turned them into derogatory words like negative, just like negative connotations. You, If you've seen somebody refer to somebody else as she's just basic, like she ain't even all that, she basic, she's just regular. 
So when we hear the word, it's like regular. I'm not regular. I kind of feel like regular, we use that word just to say that this is not luxury because there wasn't a word for us to create our content. If I was to, to post a day in the life on my TikTok, what about it is going to gain the attention of someone? It's not luxury, okay? It's not luxury. What is it? A regular day in the life. That, that's exactly what it is. Under the girl's video, before she deleted it, there was a comment that was saying like, why would I want to be regular? I would never refer to myself as regular. And it's just like, okay, but that's not a bad thing. I don't, I don't feel like it's a bad thing. I mean, you know, I can't tell anybody how to feel, but like, when I say I'm a regular black girl, that's just what it means. I'm just a regular black girl. I work a regular job. I drive a regular car. I come from a regular family. I don't know what other word to use. Like, I, I don't know what other words to use and that's also been one of my issues with starting to vlog in um a couple of my other videos i've been saying how i want to like venture out and start doing more content because i'm tired of doing natural hair content and so somebody was like start doing vlogs what is it about my vlogs that's going to be interesting and i always tell people i don't do anything i don't i don't do anything i work from home i go to the gym and then on top of that i live in south carolina like there's literally nothing here to do so like if i'm vlogging like what what is it if i were to vlog it's gonna be a regular vlog that's just what it's gonna be yes i am a regular black girl but I have personality. I'm a regular black girl, but I'm also intelligent. I'm a regular black girl and I have a YouTube channel. I'm a regular black girl. I have two degrees. It doesn't just stop there at me being a regular black girl. Like there, there are other things about me that, you know, make me who I am. Yes, I consider myself regular because I don't, I don't really have another word. A lot of women were like, I aspire to be more than regular. We're not all gonna be millionaires, you guys. We are not all gonna make it on the big screen. We're not all going to own our own companies one day. Some of us are just gonna be regular. That doesn't mean we're gonna be living lives of struggle. That doesn't mean we're gonna have traumatic experiences. That doesn't mean that we're never gonna find love or we're never gonna find our passion. Some of us are just going to be regular, like I, I'm sorry, it sounds harsh the way I'm saying it and I'm I'm really not trying to sound harsh. I'm just being realistic. I'm really not even trying to be funny. LOL. Hey, me again. Um, how do I say this? Okay, yes, I said what I said, but I want y'all to understand where I'm coming from. When I say that not all of us are gonna be millionaires, and when I say that not all of us are gonna have our own businesses, basically I use those two things as examples, but what I'm getting at is not all of us are going to be like the girls we watch on YouTube and TikTok. And a lot of these women that we do watch on YouTube and TikTok, they're not necessarily millionaires or business owners. I don't know why I use those two things as examples. They were just the first things that came to mind. We're not going to all end up like the people that we watch on YouTube or on TV, um, on TikTok. Now, does that mean that we're all gonna be struggling? No, we can live great lives and be comfortable and not be in these same positions as our favorite influencers and content creators. And in fact, as we get older, you're gonna see that you're gonna fall less, less, uh, <laughs> I just had a brain fart. As we get older, we're gonna fall more out of tune with these people that we do watch on social media because as you get older, things change. Times change, your priorities change, and we change. So some of the things right now that we see on social media, they are important to us right now, but as we get older, it's gonna change. That's all that I'm saying. I'm not saying that you ain't gonna never have nothing and you just gonna always be in this position that's not what I'm saying. All I'm saying is where we're going to be in a few years, hell, even in a couple months, maybe even half a year, it's going to be different. And your views, your thoughts, your wants, and your wishes, they're going to change. But I call myself regular and that doesn't take away my value as a person. I still bring things to the table. They're not Gucci and Chanel bags, but... 
I still bring things to the table. I was watching someone's video. I don't know if it was on TikTok or YouTube or whatever. But the person basically said like, be the representation that you want to see. And that really stuck with me. And I feel like I keep coming back to YouTube just to, I don't, I don't know. Because I enjoy creating content for one, and for two, I am the representation that I wish to see. I made the video, the video of where I was explaining to you guys like why I moved back in with my parents and what happened with all of that. Because I just wanted to let people know like, you know, we not all out here balling yet. We not all out here in our high rise apartments. We're not all doing that. And that was the reason why I put that video out because I felt like there were other people out there who were in the same position as me. Not everybody out here is living this lifestyle. I'm telling you that when all you see on social media is luxury this, luxury that. $500 skims haul, I spend $1,000 on tape-ins. Come with me to buy another Gucci bag. Like, this is all you see. And so then subconsciously, like you begin to think like, why don't I have that yet? Why am I not in the position that this person is in? When is it gonna be my turn? That's what I've been asking myself. When am I gonna win? Like, when is it gonna be me? We need to see some regular ass content. We have young people who are consuming social media way faster than we did because now there's so much available. I know we're not all responsible for being good role models and influences, especially on other people's kids, because these aren't our kids. But just think about all the things that we took in when we were coming up and being on social media. I'm a 90s baby, okay? So we grew up with it all from freaking MySpace and Bebo, Facebook, Twitter, freaking Tumblr, Instagram, now TikTok. Our minds were so impressionable at that age. Like, just think about it. And for me, when I started to see all of this I don't wanna say backlash, but all the negativity surrounding the regular black girl hashtag on TikTok, I was really just thinking like, y'all are some haters. Like, why are you guys offended by us just celebrating our journeys and where we're at right now? Like, it's been a hard ass two years, you guys. Where we are right now is not gonna be forever. And where I want to be, I'm not there yet. But while I'm here, I'm gonna create this content and see what happens. The gag is all of our favorites who are posting these nice, aesthetically pleasing vlogs, this nice, aesthetically pleasing content. I'm not saying no names because I just don't even want y'all to try to turn this around into something that it's not. But you know, who did you think of when I just said that? You know exactly who I'm talking about. And it's not just one person because a lot of people create this content. All these people had to start from somewhere, starting from zero subscribers, starting from vlogging on their phone. Some of our favorites used to live with other people, like didn't even have their own space. Some of our favorites used to be B-R-O-K-E. I don't say that word anymore, that's why I spelled it out, because I hate that word. Some of my favorites didn't have no money before the glitz and glam, and at that time, they were making regular content. And guess what? They had subscribers that were coming back every single week, every time they would upload. Why? Based off the simple fact that, you know, they vibe with them. They like their personality. They like the content that they were producing. It doesn't matter that they were not, you know, going to spend all this money and going to get their nails done, toes done, hair done, getting massages and cosmetic surgery and facials and stuff like that. It doesn't matter that they weren't able to do that. People were still watching their content. They were making regular ass content. But when they were in their transitional phases, when they were what I like to call as the in-between, that weren't really where they are right now, they were just, you know, in the in-between. People were watching them and enjoying it, but now it's the fact that we put a name to what it is, a regular, regular black girl. It's a problem, but you, you enjoyed it because it was your fave, but when it's someone who doesn't have a platform, someone who doesn't have a following, it's lame. How does that make sense? Please, please, how does that make sense? Lately on TikTok, I've been seeing a lot of people who say that they really wanna post their content, but they don't have this, they don't have that. And I just wanna say, post your content, okay? I promise you 
there is somebody out there that's gonna connect with you on whatever it is you're posting. The thing about social media, like yes, there are trends, but there's an audience for everything. And there are some things that are just so specific and you would think, who else? Who else would, you know, connect with me on this? You think like, hey, I'm the only person going through this, but sometimes the internet is a good place. Sometimes. Post your content if you want to post your content. I promise you there's an audience for everything. And it is okay if you are not making the money that you want to be making right now. It's okay if you're not driving the car that you want to drive. If you can't afford to do certain things, post your damn content. And this is a message to myself because I've like, I've kind of like been holding back a little bit when it comes to content creation because of how I'm going to be perceived by everybody else. And it is a work in progress. I am working on it. And that's why I'm making this video as well. Like this is me taking a step in a different direction when it comes to my content on YouTube. You have to start somewhere and it is okay, okay? It is okay to be regular. It's okay to not have certain things. It doesn't mean that you're never gonna have them. You just don't have them right now. My name is Lex. I am a regular black girl. And that is fine because the gag is when I start making the amount of money that I want to make, when I upgrade my car and when I start buying this and buying that, whatever, at the end of the day, I'm still going to be a regular black girl. I'm going to just have some money. That's it. And another gag, if we took away all of these possessions, all of these things, mm -hmm, y'all know where I'm going with this material things. If we take away all these material things from these people. Would you still watch their content? Are you there for them or are you there because they have things that you want? On that note, I'm gonna just leave. So you can, <laughs> you guys leave some comments down below. Let me know. Let me know how we feel. Are you a regular black girl? Are you offended by the term regular black girl? Thank y'all so much for tuning in and listening to me rant for, let's see, I think this video will probably be like 25 minutes. But yes, be sure to like, comment, share, and subscribe. I'm not really sure what type of content I have planned for the rest of this year, but we just gonna see. It might be regular, and I hope y'all stick with me. But thank y'all so much. Be sure to like, comment, share, and subscribe. I think I said that already. Oh, follow me on Instagram and TikTok, both at Buy Me Alexis. And I'll see you guys in my next video. They just won't get closer to me, getting colder to me. You ain't no one to me. They won't fuck me over my team, way too cautious and we too sober to leave at 10 o'clock, feeding for the